In this tutorial, we'll create a double exposure inspired text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's dig right in. Begin in Adobe Photoshop with a new document. I'm working at 1500 by 1000 pixels, and my background color is white. Using the font Peace Sans Regular, go ahead and create some type. Next, let's place our first stock image on top of our text. Just copy and paste it. As you can see here in my Layers panel, I have the image on top of my text. Next, command click or control click on the text layer's thumbnail to create a selection area. We only want to work with the first letter here in the beginning, so let's select the rectangular marquee tool. Then, click on Intersect with Selection up in the Options bar right here. With that selected, we can go ahead and click and drag to make a selection around the first letter. Notice how, now, we've selected only the space around that first letter. Now go back to the Branches layer on top of our text. Select it and then click on Add Layer Mask in the Layers panel to create a layer mask. We'll repeat this process for each of the letters. Copy and paste your branches. Select and isolate your letter. And then create a layer mask on the image layer. Once you've done so for each letter, make the original text layer invisible. Click on the little eye icon right here to do so. Then, click on the chain icon between the layer and the thumbnail. This unlinks it so we can move the image freely within the mask without impacting the mask itself. Our goal here is to freely adjust the branches here within each letter. I like to use the Move tool to do so, but you could do so in any way you prefer. Experiment freely and arrange the branches any way you like. Once you're happy with how you've arranged the branches within the text, make sure to link these layers back up. Then, let's place our branches within a group together. Select them, and then click the folder down here in our Layers panel to make a group. Now let's add some more effects to our text. Click on the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon here at the bottom of our Layers panel. We want to select Gradient Map. Then take a look at your properties. Click here to open up and customize our gradient. We're going to add some color stops here. At the far left, use this color. 2, 8, 2, 8, 2, 8. At 25%, let's use this color. 5, C, 5, 3, 5, 3. At 50%, use this color. 8, 7, 7, A, 7, A. At 75%, let's use this color. A, D, a, 3, A, 3. At 100%, let's use this color. F, 1, E, D, E, D. And here's what our gradient looks like. Click on OK when you're done. Next, let's place our second stock image on top of our layers. Just copy, paste, and make sure it's the topmost layer in our Layers panel. Let's set this layer's blending mode to Lighten. We're going to follow a process from earlier again. Let's select the text, like we did before. Command or Control click on the text layer's thumbnail. Then select our stock image and make it a layer mask. Now let's finish things up with some final adjustments. Let's add another gradient map. Remember, that's down here in our Layers panel. Then, we'll edit our gradient again. I'm going to work with these colors. All the way on the left, let's go with this color. 4, 8, 4, 0, 6, E. In the center, let's use this color. 7, 6, 7, 4, 7, E. And on the right, let's use this color. F B C six nine zero, and then click OK to finish up. 
Let's lower the opacity on this layer to 35%. Leave the blending mode set to normal. And finally, let's add a level adjustment layer. We're going to tweak the following channels. Red, we want our output levels at 0 and 250. Green, we want our output levels at 13 and 251. And blue, we want our output levels at 30 and 251. And that's it! We've created a fun and artistic double exposure inspired text effect. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you did, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and happy designing!